Tonight was supposed to belong to U.S. wrestler Dave Schultz. The 1984 Olympic gold medalist was still considered a top prospect to contend for a medal. Katie Corrick joins us now with his story. Well, Bob, the president of USA Wrestling called Dave Schultz a guy with 10,000 best friends. But in January, Schultz was shot to death outside his home in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. He'd been living and training on the estate of millionaire and U.S. wrestling team benefactor John DuPont, who was awaiting trial for the slain. When Dave Schultz died, the international wrestling community lost one of its finest ambassadors. The U.S. wrestling team lost their world champion and a highly respected team leader. Danielle and Alexander Schultz lost their adored father, and Nancy Schultz lost her husband of 14 years. Nice, very kind, loving. He accepted other people for what they did. I was um, amongst his uh, 10,000 best friends, and I considered him to be my best friend, as well as my son. Alexander told me, you know, I miss Dad a lot, but aren't we lucky that Dad was our dad? <laughs> of his life, he, he lived the life of 10 men in the short life that he had. He taught me a lot about life. And the most important things that I've ever learned, he taught me. You guys wanna go to the train again? David Schultz was consumed by two passions, his family and the sport of wrestling. His journey began at the 1984 Summer Olympics, where both Dave and his brother Mark won gold medals. Today, David's medal represents a lasting memory for his children. If I like win a game in baseball, he'd rather talk about that than the Olympics. David's very presence on and off the mat generated passion and respect. He was wrestling's central figure and its greatest ambassador. He created champions and lifelong friendships, and he never stopped wrestling. Dave enjoyed everything about wrestling. He enjoyed the traveling, he enjoyed the, the, uh, the camaraderie, the socializing with the Russians and all the Iranians and all the people all over the world. He just loved being around the wrestlers, you know, period. He was the guy, he was wrestling, USA wrestling. <laughs> he became Mr. Wrestling. <laughs> Olympic gold medal wrestler Dave Schultz was found shot to death at a training center on the estate of John Nancy went to the door and saw the third shot and David crawling towards the porch area of the house. Nancy went outside and got a hold of Dave and turned him over and he was still alive. I'm glad I was there when he left. I got to say goodbye to him and be with him when he died. He died in her arms. I said, I love you. Maybe he could carry those with him. We were sorry for what had happened to your dad. We were thinking about you. I wish I had some clever words I could write down. Nancy has been completely overwhelmed with support. She takes time to read every letter she's received. It's these letters that keep her from feeling alone. It's pride in their father that helps Danielle and Alexander deal with their sadness. Mark seeks answers. Why did something so senseless, so ruthless, have to happen? His father's pain is played out on the piano in a special song he wrote in David's memory. To be his best friend, his wife, mother of his children it was a special role to play and uh, I can't compare it to anything or anybody else in the world. 
He created Mark Schultz. He was the greatest influence on my life. Uh, you know, <laughs> he made me who I am. The journey was remarkable. Remarkable legacy for every one of us. And I will miss loving him. Nancy Schultz has started the Dave Schultz Foundation to assist young wrestlers with their training and expenses. She hopes through the foundation to help many wrestlers, not just elite athletes, who receive some funding from the U.S. Olympic Committee. American wrestler Kurt Angle, who won a gold medal in his weight class on Wednesday, is one of the foundation's beneficiaries. For Angle, though, it was a bittersweet victory. Dave Schultz was his mentor, idol, and very close friend, Bob. I know you spent at least a little bit of time with Nancy Schultz in recent days. How are she and her children doing? Well, she is one of the most stoic, impressive, and genuine people I've ever met. She is the loveliest woman, Bob, and obviously she's been going through a great deal of pain, but she says the wrestling community is like a family. They've really extended themselves and embraced her and her children, and I think the fact that...